Welcome to our lesson on deriving the equation of perpendicular lines in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So before we begin, we need to understand what this form tells us. We have y is equal to mx, and m is the gradient of a line, and the gradient defines its steepness. This is measured as the change in y divided by the change in x, and it is mx plus c, and the c is our intercept value. And the intercept is the value of y when x is equal to zero. So this is where the line cuts the y-axis. So in this question, we have two straight lines, L1 and L2. And we've been told that the two lines are perpendicular to each other, which means they cross at 90 degrees. And because they cross at 90 degrees, their gradients will be the negative reciprocal of each other. So for instance, we know the gradient of the blue line is three, which means the gradient of our red line will be negative one third. And this is the negative reciprocal of three. We can see this makes sense because for L1, the gradient is positive as the line goes up. And for L2, the gradient is negative as the line goes down. So now we have the gradient of line L2. We can put this into our equation where Y is equal to negative one third of x plus c and at this point 9 and 5 we have a matching x value and a y value and we can substitute these two values into our equation so 5 which is y is equal to negative one third of x which we know is 9 plus c negative one third of 9 is fr negative 3 so 5 is equal to negative 3 plus c. We can solve this equation by adding 3 to both sides. And these will cancel. So 8 is equal to c. So we know this point here, the intercept is 8. When x equals 0, y is equal to 8. We can substitute this value back into our equation again. So the equation of a line L2, y is equal to our gradient, negative 1 third of x plus c, which is 8. Okay, let's try the next question. So in this question, we have two straight lines again, L1 and L2. The equation of a line L1 is 3 minus 2x, and the equation of a line L2 we've been asked to find. Do you want to try and work out the equation of a line L2 yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So before we begin, I'm going to write the equation of a line L1 in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So I'm going to move the negative 2 to before the 3. So y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. And now we can see the gradient of a blue line is negative 2. So this means the gradient of a red line will be positive 1 over 2. Again, this is going up because it's a positive where the blue line is going down with a negative gradient. So we can work out the equation of the line L2 as y is equal to mx plus c. We've just worked out the gradient is one half, so we can substitute this into our equation. And we've been told the line L2 passes through this point where x is negative five and y is four. We can substitute these two values into our equation. So four is equal to one half of x, which is negative five plus c, so 4 is equal to negative 2.5 plus c, c is equal to 6.5. So the equation of a line L2, y is equal to 1 half of x plus 6.5. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, we've been told that point A has a coordinate 0, negative 5, and point B has a coordinate 7, 9. And this is one side of a rectangle where we've been asked to work out the equation of a line CB, which is this line here. Do you want to try and work out the equation of a line CB yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So because the two sides, A to B and B to C, are two sides of a rectangle, they cross at 90 degrees, which means their gradients are perpendicular. So we're going to begin 
by working out the gradient of a line AB, where M is the change in Y divided by the change in X. And the change in X is from 0 to 7, which is 7. And the change in Y is from negative 5 to 9, which is 14. So the gradient of a line AB is 2. This means the gradient of a line CB will be negative 1 half. So the equation of a line C to B, we have y is equal to mx plus c. m, the gradient we found as negative 1 half of x plus c. And we know the line CB touches the coordinate 7, 9, where x is 7 and y is 9. We'll substitute these two values into our equation. So 9 is equal to negative 1 half of 7 plus c. So c is equal to 9 plus 3.5, c is equal to 12.5. So the equation of a line CB, y is equal to negative 1 half of x plus 12.5. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.